The tomb of Baron Samdi, the King of the Dead, can be found in all cemeteries, although in some it can only be identified by the people from the village to stop outsiders using the cemetery for their own voodoo acts. Normally, it can be recognized by its large cross and where the first burial was made. Tonight, we are witnesses to an expedition made by Hungan from Artibonito, the region of Haiti with the strongest magic. At the foot of the cross, the Hungan smokes a piece of paper over some candles so that the Lua Great Way allows the passage to reach Baron Samdi. Later, Kafu, who controls the crossroads between the earthly world and the great beyond, will have to give his permission. A fire is prepared with pine sticks and pieces of paper with someone's name written on it to prevent somebody leaving another person. They also use special powders made by the Hugan. In voodoo, these powders are very important. Each Hugan has his own mixtures, which range from healing powders to zombie powder. Rum and gas oil are used to warm the spirits, which normally live in water and are always cold. The heat attracts them and the Hugan is mounted by Baron Samdi, who is equivalent to Saint Expeditious, which is why the ceremony is called an expedition. Nobody can refuse to return his violent greeting that transmits energy from the other world. This ceremony is performed so that the Baron may deliver justice in a dispute and carry out the sentence on the guilty party. The red and black dolls represent the protagonists, men and women, of the lawsuit that is presented. When this powerful Ugan is possessed, he has the power to eat glass. His lure demands it of him. Baron Samdi reigns over all the Gede, the spirits of the dead. When he mounts someone, he acts like a joker and uses obscene language. This is the lure of sexuality, and he falls in love with women. His dance imitates the cuirtal act, and he always smokes a lot. Once his work is finished, the Baron lies back on his tomb and prepares to leave the body that he has possessed. The Hugan is shocked when the Baron leaves. He does not know how he got there. He can remember nothing. In Bere, an old lady has died and a funeral party has been announced, which will last all night. With songs, the young people trying to cheer up her son who sits at a small table looking at photos of his dead mother. The whole village attends the party. It is a social duty to attend the dead from the moment that death occurs. At the back of the house, the women make coffee so that the people can make it through the night and the party may be successful.
They have a totally different view of death from the Christians. The cycle is renewed and death is the end of the journey through life. Now the soul of the deceased will walk towards the past to meet up with his ancestors. Next day, the people attend the burial dressed up in their finest clothes. Scenes of grief continue. It is necessary to shout a lot so that the dead person knows that he is dead. The soul does not leave the body immediately, instead it remains at his side, and it is necessary to convince it to go off with the Gede, otherwise it could disturb the living. In some places they turn the coffin over many times, so that the dead person gets lost and cannot find his way home. In the center of Port-au-Prince, the capital of Haiti, we find the presidential palace where the bloodthirsty dictators François Duvalier, Papa Doc, and his son Baby Doc lived. Opposite the front of the palace is the statue of the slave Toisson Louverture, who led the fight against the French. On the other side, the figure of a slave blowing a lambi, symbol of the fall of colonial power and the fight against the oppression of slavery. It is the Gallery of Art Naïf. The Church of the Trinity is the first that opened its doors to this type of artwork. The art of a people who feel the need to express themselves by painting in this way. Haiti is the country of color. The people paint their houses, their streets, and their collectively owned cars, the famous tap-taps. The Haitian people have suffered countless attacks and their freedom has been repressed on many occasions. Perhaps the most tragic example, because it was so recent, was that carried out by the Duvalier dictators and their reigns of terror sustained by witchcraft and black magic. They were surrounded by their troops, the Tom Tom Makuts, most of whom were Boko, wizards that work on the dark side of voodoo, the Deme, which means with both hands. This practice is the opposite of Guinea, in which the Hougan only uses his right hand. The Catholic Church does not like to coexist with Voodoo, while the Voodooists, on the contrary, have no trouble of coexisting with the Church. On one side of the cathedral, people can be found praying and asking for help before a figure of Christ that occupies an important place in their beliefs. Rituals are celebrated daily in the cemeteries of Port-au-Prince. The dead must be well attended to, otherwise they will bother you instead of helping you. We attend a mass with Philo Pascal that is being held for a dead relative before Baron Samdi. He is offered food and rum, which the end will be shared out among the poor people who come to the cemeteries because of this. A year and day after the death, the family members must release the soul of the deceased, which has been living up to until now in the water. They must carry out a very expensive ceremony in which an ox is sacrificed. If they delayed for a long time, the deceased may rise up against them.
In the traditional voodoo law, the maximum penalty is zombification and not death. The Hugans that have passed sentence will appoint an executioner who will blow the zombie powder in such a way that the criminal will inhale it without realizing it. Shortly afterwards, he will die without anyone knowing why, and he will be buried. Sometime later, he will be exhumed, an antidote will be applied, and they will steal his soul. He will obey the Hugans and will work for the rest of his life for them. In fact, they reduce him to a cataleptic state produced by tetrodotoxin, the main ingredient of the zombie powder. His brain does not receive sufficient supply of blood, which combined with the shock of being buried alive, causes irreversible damage to his mental faculties. But those who work the Deme may also use these sinister techniques for revenge. For this reason, there are some people who poison their dead before burying them because they could have been victims of a boko and be turned into zombies. The most important secret societies were born a long time ago and were the real spiritual support for the uprising of the slaves. Their ceremonies, like this one of Bosu, are more violent because they call upon the Lua Petro, originally from Haiti.